All right, question number 45, let's get right into it. All right, so we have for all x values that are not equal to plus or minus y, this entire thing is equal to which of these, or equivalent, I should say. So guys, the biggest thing here is the only way that we can combine these two terms is if we have a common denominator. So what we're gonna need to do to get that common denominator is we're gonna need to do this, let me show you. So we're gonna need to multiply the top by x minus y and the bottom by x minus y. So I'm gonna have x plus y multiplied by x minus y. And then I'm gonna to have to do the opposite for this term right here. So it's gonna be y times x plus y. Oops, okay, I think you see that still. Um, and then x minus y multiplied by x plus y. All right guys, so um, this right here, x plus y times x minus y, this is called a, uh, well actually I've got the exact term, but basically what's gonna happen is we're gonna get x squared and then our middle terms are going to cancel out, and the, but we're going to be left with our last term, which is going to be negative y squared, okay? So you can do the whole FOIL method and see for yourself, but I'm just going to tell you right now it's equal to that. So I'm going to have x squared minus uh, xy over x squared minus y squared um, plus, uh, let's see here, yx plus y squared. And again, this is all over x squared minus y squared. All right, guys, so whenever we simplify this down, as you can see, these uh, y x's are gonna cancel out. So I'm going to be left with x squared plus y squared over x squared minus y squared. All right guys, so that is our final answer. We simplify it down. And um, again, if you have any questions, always feel free to comment below. And let's see here, answer choice is going to be officially E. And that's it. I will see you in the next video.